Here's a little uh, clock radio designed for teenagers from 1987 and General Electric. This is the Night Jammer. And on the top we have our sleep button, which you can press for nine more minutes of sleep, and you can do that for up to an hour. We have our setting button for hour. You notice the hour and the minute have a different little finger touch symbol on them. Here's your time setting position, your wake setting position. Then you can set it to wake to the alarm or to music, your radio off and your radio on, and your snooze button. There's two buttons here, but they both press as one. On the front, you have your display, AM, FM, General Electric. Uh, if you've got it set to wake, that light will be lit. There's your volume uh, dial, and down here we have our FM and AM locations and a spot for your headphones. We'll look at those more in detail. And we have our tuning dial. Around the left we have a three inch speaker. On the back we have a little bit of information. Here's our FM and AM setting button. Underneath some information including a date code of 4730M7, the second digit of these GE date codes around this area stand for the year of the decade it was made in, and this was made in the 80s. So this is 1987, that's the model number made in Malaysia. And I found a little bit of information about this online. There was a small article or review, if you want to call it, in Working Mother Magazine in 1987. Um, these sold for $33 originally. And although this was the Night Jammer, blue, black, red, there was a more feminine version, uh, I think pink, gray, lavender, called the Pea Jammer. So I suppose this, most of the boys got this one. And why was it in Working Mother Magazine? because of this little attachment here on the right side, the bed buds, which were a set of little earphones for the front jack. So this was marketed as a way for the kids to have their own rock music without disturbing the parents. as you would expect. It's not really bad sound. Let's see what we get on AM, if anything. I don't like when the FM and AM switchers are on the back. That's what happens in play. You can... Tomorrow, partly sunny skies and a high of 47 degrees. Hi. Well, sports, as you would expect. Not much else. Let's take a look at the uh, bed buds closer. All right, here's our little compartment for the earphones, the bed buds. And they sort of wind around here. And as near as I can tell, you should take your finger and wind all that around uh, to get them out and back in. And that seems to take an inordinate amount of time. So I'm going to shut you off here for a minute and come back when I get them unwound. No reason to make you suffer through that. Alright. These are uh, about three feet long. They're quite long for what you uh, might expect on something like this. As you can see, the, the plug kind of looks like it's for stereo, but it just splits the uh, signal into two mono signals and the actual earphones have a little 
GE symbol on them. That's kind of cute. Uh, we wouldn't be able to hear anything through these plugging it into the jack on the front. So I've uh, arranged something else here to do that. Let me hook my Cambridge speakers up here. Maybe we can see what this will sound like through a set of speakers. The future, the blood in my veins, oh, ooh, the blood in my veins, oh, ooh. But they never did, ever did, ever did, flow and they never did. You can tell a big difference with better speakers. Makes a lot of difference if you have good speakers. Uh, trying it with headphones, it's of course not that good. But it's not, it's not bad. The little earphones aren't great. Let's see if we can make it come on to um don't say so you've heard what the alarm sounds like uh, the sound of the music you could set to come on on your am in the back if nothing else the wake indicator disappears. So that is the 1987 Night Jammer from General Electric, brother to the P Jammer for young ladies. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.